we're finding the area of regular hexagon. We're still using the super duper awesome formula perimeter times apothem divided by two or a half of perimeter times apothem. So regular, that means all sides are the same. So equilateral hexagon, six sides. So this one in the middle is the center of the hexagon. This one is the radius. So the radius is, if you were to draw a circle around the hexagon, right there. So and this would be the radius of the circle. Um, this one is the side and the bottom. Remember the apothem is the distance from the center to the side and it makes a 90 degree angle with the side. Now with the other examples we worked on, if we were to make triangles inside of the hexagon, we would get six triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And like I color coded the other ones before. We have the pink triangle, which is one of the six. And if you were to cut that pink triangle in two, you would get the yellow triangle. So the yellow triangle is half of the pink triangle. Central angle is 360 degrees. If we divide by six, because we have six triangles, we get 60 degrees each. Since the yellow triangle is half of the pink triangle, this angle right there is 30. The other one has to be 60 because this one is already 90. Yeah, we're doing 30, 60, 90 triangle again. Fun. So first example, we have 30, 60, 90 triangle and we have the ratios x, x squared of 3, 2 x. And since we already did the calculations on our notes, I know this is 30 and this is 60. So the one across from 60 right there is 4 square root of 3. So right here under 60, I have 4 square root of 3. Since they're the same, square roots are the same, that means x equals 4. If x equals 4, the square roots, I can work it out for you, but really you don't have to. But now you already found the shortcut. If these two are the same, x equals 4. Or if you want to do the whole thing right here and divide both sides by square root of 3, you get x equals 4. You don't have to do this whole thing. You can just look at it and know, oh yeah, x is 4. Now, x is 4. This part right here is 4, not the whole side. And this is only half of the side. If this is 4, this is 4, which makes each side 8. Area, perimeter times the bottom divided by 2. Perimeter is all around 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. So 6 times 8, 48. Times a bottom, a bottom right there. 4 square root of 3 divide by 2. You can put 48 times 4 divided by 2 in the calculator, or you can simplify that and get 2. 48 times 2, 96. You do not put the square root of 3 in the calculator because I want your answer in terms of square root or simplified square root. So area here, 96 square root of 3 centimeters squared because it's area.